Hey, it's Vanessa Sharks. It's Vegas here. Hope you're doing well. So we are back here at the Mirage Las Vegas for what may potentially be the last time ever on our My Vegas comps. Let's see if we can go double or nothing here. It's the Ace of Vegas. The Ace of Vegas. Before we get started, I just want to give a quick thank you to all of our Patreon members that help keep the channel growing. More on that later. All right, Spinners and Sharks, so as you know, Mirage is leaving the MGM portfolio of hotel properties, and by extension, we're expecting it to leave the list of my Vegas hotel comps as well. So to properly say goodbye to my all-time favorite hotel, I thought it was appropriate to spend one last weekend getaway there, for old time's sake. guys here we are we are getting ready for check-in here at uh, Mirage Las Vegas it's a little bit of a line at the regular check-in but something that just struck me I'm an M Life Gold member so we're gonna go to the priority check-in over here instead and that's how we're gonna do our team member assisted check-in so we're going this way here we go significantly less of a line all right guys here we go uh decided to go ahead and see what kind of upgrades they had initially they offered me a strip view room but i wanted to kind of push my luck a little bit so i asked for stay well i was also a little before check-in there had to bat my eyes a little bit luckily the uh, check-in agent was uh, definitely met my demographics there so i was able to pull a little something off so i'm actually gonna head on up and we're gonna go check out a stay well room this time let's go all right, Spanish and Sharks, we are on the floor now. We are 12104. So according to the sign here, that's gonna be about midway down the hall here. It should be just about ready for us. Let's uh, put on the speed and get rolling. Spinners and Sharks, and here we are in the King Stay Well room. So let's go ahead and start the tour, as we always do, in the bathroom. So we hang an immediate right over here, and then as soon as you come in, actually it looks like you got your towels over here, so that's nice. So you grab them as soon as you walk on in, and then you come into the actual bathroom. Looks like there's a little bit more space over here. This one isn't quite as fancy. I think this is a handicap accessible one, which I don't think it's a problem. I think it's actually really great that they have these options over here. So you got shampoo, you got your hair conditioner, you got your soap. Uh, the toilet is in the same room as the bathroom itself, so no separate water closet, unfortunately. But you know, that's not the end of the galaxy. So easy to get around. You got the bars over here, no big deal, definitely. Full-size mirror over here if you need to check yourself before you hit the strip There's also one behind us, but we'll get back to that later And then when we come back into the bathroom over there, this one's looking a little older. It does have the um, A little bit of rust and calcium over here. That's a little bit of a shame But the tub itself is clean Looking at it and then you look up and then you got yourself the vitamin C infused shower head over here so it's got a uh, vitamin C and a whole bunch of other little things making it a fresher type of shower. I'm sure it makes the water feel a little different. So that's kind of neat there. Looking forward to trying that out and seeing if that's any different. That was for your striker. It's not very deep. Coming back out of the bathroom, you got your full-size mirror over here. This is not what we're wearing to the strip, but it is what we wear through the airport. Nice and comfortable and it uh, gets us through those Southwest flights if nothing else. So let's keep pushing along. Immediately to the right, you got yourself a nice adjoining door over here. So if you do have another room next door, you can open that out. Check that out. I'm going to leave that locked though. Not looking to have any big Ace of Vegas parties. And then looks like we've got the Rabbit Air Purifier. So this looks a little different. It's got some different filters. It does mood lights apparently too. So that's kind of neat. Gonna have to play with this a little bit. Yeah, definitely gonna have to play with that just a little bit as the weekend goes. 
Then of course, you have your luggage rack over here. Just go ahead and slap your luggage down. Do what you gotta do as you come into the bedroom here. Immediately to the left, you have the closet, which also includes a full mirror here, in case you need it. And if your spouse needs something a little higher up, you do have the uh, standard the standard room style closet on this other half over here, along with the ironing board and the iron itself. Coming back over to the mini bar over here, we of course have the mini fridge right below here. It is completely loaded with nonsense, so if you ever want any nonsense at, oh, I don't know, five o'clock in the morning, you don't really want to stumble your way downstairs, you can grab it for a nominal fee. It'll definitely show up on your credit card receipt and you will regret it. The other half of the mini bar up here, it is all weighted. Again, you will regret taking anything because it's going to cost money if something comes up. You of course also have your ice bucket, a couple glasses over here if you bring your own liquor, bring your own water or what have you, as well as the hookups for your PC or your gaming console, portable Blu-ray player, what have you. And then what is this over here? Oh, it's like a scent machine over here, a scent. Interesting. It's worth noting that the middle drawer over here is also the safe. Uh, here's a neat little feature. They actually have a live camera of the aquarium downstairs at the check-in area. So you can see that at any point during your stay. That's really cool. Immediately behind us is a more comfortable chair. Perfect for one person or two people if you're comfortable with each other, if you know what I mean. And then finally we have the king size bed here. And this is one of the Staywell mattresses. Now the thing about the Staywell mattresses, some people find them uncomfortable, some people find them more comfortable. I guess I'm about to find out which one I prefer once I take a look. But first, let's check out the view. Okay, and they've also got these lower bars over here so they're handicap accessible. So if you're down on a wheelchair, you can reach them a little more easily. And then you can move the curtains left and right. I think they should consider getting some automatic ones for this, maybe when Seminole takes over and it becomes the hard rock, maybe they'll make them automatic. But here's the view over here. It's not a bad view. You got a good shot of the Treasure Island from here. Phil Ruffin is trash, by the way. But yeah, you got the win. You got old Resorts World over there. And then there's, uh, oh, what appears Morgan call him. The old muckhead uh, Donald Trump over there. <laughs> the Trump Tower is also available. Everything in gold, if that's something that you guys are interested in. And then this is the last of our gold towers over here, the Mirage. Although it'll be strange when it's blue and white in the near future too. Not sure how I feel about that yet, <laughs> but it's gonna happen. And then a little shot of the highway, and that's uh, that's about it for the view. And then, yeah, here we are for the rest of the room. Alright, Spinners and Sharks, and that's the whole room over here. I think it's going to be a comfortable room to stay in. I really feel like this should be kind of the standard for rooms, having the nice little noise machine and having the air filtration system and all that, and then I guess the enriched shower and all. I feel like for a, you know, for a property like this, where the whole thing is like Polynesian relaxation, you'd want to have these sorts of little amenities lying around in basically every room. But they don't, so this is what's considered an upgrade. I'm gonna enjoy it regardless since I'm here for the weekend. Didn't anticipate it since it was a weekend, but hey, we're gonna call it a win since so we got it all on comps. All right, let's go ahead and get back to the bed. One, two, three, jump! Oh, wow, that is a firm mattress. I'm used to firm mattresses. I was hoping there was gonna be a little bit of sink over here, but yeah, these are solid mattresses. So if you prefer a soft mattress, do not get this room for any reason. If you like a firm mattress though, this is uh, this is probably going to be a good time for you here. This is a pretty solid mattress, but yeah, if you prefer soft mattress, avoid the stay well room at all costs. And on that bombshell, it's Ace of Vegas signing out. Let's get to the outro.
Okay, Spinners and Sharks, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed today's room tour and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Before I go, I just wanted to take a moment to shout out our Patreon members, including our newest patron Ned J at the Vegas Visitor tier. Guys, it means the world to me that you're choosing to support me in this way and help keep Ace of Vegas independent of the YouTube algorithm. As you know, my content isn't always censor or advertiser friendly, so it goes a long way in keeping the channel running. If you'd like a more direct hand in keeping Ace of Vegas growing, check out the Patreon link in the description box down below. In the meantime, what did you think of the Stay Well Room at Mirage? Is it all it's cracked up to be, or are you looking forward to Hard Rock changing them? Whatever your thoughts may be, I'd love to hear them in the comments down below. Until next time, this is Ace of Vegas signing out, wishing you strong hands, and of course, happy spending, you guys. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva Ace of Vegas.